Tremendous performance. Eight innings pitch, three hits, 11 Ks, no runs. Um, it looked like you were working backwards a little bit tonight. Uh, what were you trying to do against them, you know, uh, to, and what were you able to have success with? You know, coming in, Coach had informed me that they're a, a big team. They're a big first pitch swinging team. You know, they, they like to, they really like to attack that first pitch fastball. So we kind of formulated the plan. All right, let's try and see if they're going to chase. If they're going to chase that first pitch slider, that first pitch changeup, we can work backwards from there. We just got to try and keep them off balance. And fortunately enough, uh, I had all three things working tonight, change up slider, fastball. And, you know, you're going to be successful at any level if you can throw three pitches for strikes at any time. Um, and I was just lucky enough to have them just kind of swinging over it. My slider felt good. Uh, change up was, a few of them kind of choked, but once I kind of figured out and loosened up the grip a little bit, it was diving out and, you know, had them swing it over a little bit, had them hitting a lot of ground balls. And, you know, that's what I try to do. I, I try to just pitch the contact and just get them to try and hit a lot of ground balls, you know. Yeah, and you pitch to contact and you get 11 Ks, you know, that's how it works sometimes. Uh, it seemed like you were, were you using your breaking ball in two different ways, two different planes it seemed like, going down with it as well as out? Yeah, there's there's some that I'll loose, I'll, I'll tighten the grip up a little bit and I'll, I'll kind of choke it a little bit and I'll throw it as much like a fastball as possible, try to get it to bite a little bit and then there's sometimes I'll get a little more on the seam and try and get a little bit more of, I, I don't know if you'd want to call it like a slurve. Um, but, you know, if they just keep seeing the same slider over and over again, eventually they're going to see, they're gonna, be going to be able to sit back and hit it the other way. Good hitting team like this, especially, you know, you want to really be able to mix up as much as you can and just try to keep them off balance. And tell me a little bit about your progression. You come in your freshman year and you're the closer. You started last year as a closer for, for a series right. and, and then move into the rotation. This year you come in the year knowing that you're going to be the Friday night guy. Um, how much does that help you um, get ready for the season? And, and and be able to, to go ahead and just start out the season, you know, at the... Right. Well, you know, anything you do, preparation is key. Um, if you can prepare the right way, then out there, you just got to, you know, pretend like you're just practicing and throwing the bullpen. Um, last, you know, my freshman year and sophomore year, um, I was told coming in that I was going to be closing. So it's a little bit of a different ball game. You know, when you're sitting there cold for eight innings and then come out here and you got to warm up, you got to stretch, you got to get loose whenever you can and, and really go out there for one inning. Um, with a lot of pressure on you. You know, you could come in bases loaded, you could come in nobody on. Um, so, you know, preparation's a little bit different. Here, you know, being as a starter, you got to you got to be able to throw everything for a strike, mix it up, move it around, and you have to have a lot of stamina. Um, you know, so preparation this year was a lot a lot better for me. We had a new strength coach coming in and uh, kicked our butts for all fall, man. And it really paid off for all of us. A lot of us were a lot stronger and uh, better prepared for any role that we what have. What the heck is going on with Steven Valerius? Is it just the glow stick bat that he's got? <laughs> seems like he's on base all the time. He's on base four times a night, scores three runs. Uh, he's really. It seems like he's really propelling the offense. You know, that that guy is such an amazing story. And if you look into it, he's a senior, um, and it's his first year really starting, being in a, in a full or blown starting role. Um, you know, he has worked his butt off for four years. I've known him for, I mean, I'm a junior, so I've, you know, he was here one year before I was, but I've always just heard that the guy just works and works and works, and it's finally paying off for him. And, you know, we're happy, but we, he's got to continue. You know, just like everyone else, we got to continue doing our job. He's got to continue doing his job in that leadoff spot. You know, if he gets on it, it really boosts our offense a little bit. You know, we got Danny Sheehan up next. We can either lay down a bun or we can hit a double in the gap. You know, he's got that, that good gap power, and then you got Ty France behind that and Sebi. I mean, it's, it's deadly. If he can get on all the time, I mean, good luck.